Alright, this is part two of it. Now it's the walk back. But that dude's still four-wheeling back there and everything. I mean, he's having a ball, but it's not like it used to be. Remember, cats used to come back here and test themselves. So it was like, it was like, if you're from Ohio, it's like doing the leap of faith at the, um, Cory. It's like doing a leap of faith. Because if you didn't make it, you were going into the river. Or you were rolling your bike. No matter what you were riding. Dirt bike, four-wheeler. And now it's just straight up. Just straight path everywhere. And it's destroyed. That fence used to never be there. Actually. Yeah, there used to be a fence, but they never added a gate onto it. But. It's kind of... It's kind of sad. It's just like Dead Man's Fall up by, um, by, uh, Trumbull Business College. I used to go up there too. Dead Man's Fall. Big jump at the end. Downhill. Whew. Broke a couple bikes going down that hill. But Dead Man's Fall, they, I was there when they trashed it. The, the janitor allowed people to dump stuff back there. Never cleaned it up. Never do nothing. But you know. It's it's what it is. No one cares anymore. Back when I was growing up, it was all nice around here. You had places you could do jumps, um, test your four-wheelers out, the suspension, shocks, you know, all them guys that are into four-wheelers and all that. I mean, I am, but I don't know all that. But, I mean, it used to be a place where you could just do whatever you wanted. I mean, the road's still here. The road's still somewhat the same. Semi, the same. This never used to be this open. Since opened this up more. But, eh. Uh, this used to be where the, you can still see some of the bricks from the uh, old uh, warehouse. Oh yeah, I'll tell you a story. Um, Back in the day, I was hanging out with a couple buddies. I'll tell you a story of how it burned down. Back in the day, me and my brother, we, I'm a pyromaniac. I like to burn stuff. So we were messing around there, and we found cups. And we lit them on fire and then put them out with a foot. Well, we start walking back, and then the cops come. Wait, I can, come, I can go in here. I'll show you this. But anyway, I was the same. We were walking back here like this. But it was a different entrance with the entrance now since I uh, see the entrance over there. But... We were walking back here. There used to be a pile of stuff there. We put them out and thing. So we're walking back to the house, and just some cop stopped us and said, "You guys are the ones who burnt down the building. The building's on fire and all this." I never believed that. I think they just burned it themselves. But you know, we gotta blame it on somebody that's walking back here. Blame it on the kids. This is what it used to be. Used to be a big warehouse, like warehouse that, and you can still see the post and stuff. This used to be the warehouse though. It was an abandoned warehouse, and it was kind of it was cool inside. But now it looks like people use it for skateboarding, maybe bikes or four wheelers. Not really sure, but I mean, I turned it into a skate park. That's just me. I mean, I can't skateboard work crap. And there, there's another part of the building. You see, this is the base. You see, it's kind of shard still. I think they caught it on fire themselves, though. Because they weren't looking for escape goats, so they blamed us. But that was way back when. I, I, I don't do no more stupid stuff. Uh... I don't do any more stupid stuff like that because, you know, I go to jail now for it. It's not like I'm going to JJC anymore. There's some old buckets. It looks like me tar in them. It's like the old warehouse, literally. Like, you can see down there a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, you guys probably had some good memories back here. You looked at the shopping cart. It's probably back when Best Buy was still around. It was still here. A shopping cart. Oh no, I'm about to jump down and see what it is. Oh, that's from Dollar Mart. That's the new place they hooked up here. Alright, I'm about to put
put you down like this. But I'll set it up so I can get back up here, so. Oh, there's glass there. Yeah, I'll find another way to get up. I ain't about to cut myself. Yeah, but this used to be where the trucks used to come in. It's where the trucks came in. I mean, I remember, I, I remember going back through here, but... I mean, people still drink back here, come and chill. Mostly stoners, you know. Hippies. Homeless people. People just want to drink somewhere and they don't got a place to drink. You know. This is where the... But, yeah, this is where the, the old... Old, um... Uh... Warehouse used to be. I don't know what the warehouse used to be, but, I mean, yeah, pretty big place, I mean, we could, if we could, I'd, I'd say we could have a concert here, Juggalos like me, yeah, have ICP come play here, man, it's a nice area, I mean, you'd have to do a little work, get some power back here, but, I mean, we could have a mini gathering here, they allow us to, but they ain't gonna allow us to, but, you know, I don't know that many, I don't know that many Juggalos in, in Howland. Like, literally, when I went to school, I was the only Juggalo in Howland. Only one. Literally, only Juggalo, only person in Howland that liked the ICP. I mean, I went to Howland for two years. I mean, it was alright, but I got picked on a lot, so I left that school. I went to a bunch of other schools. I went to Niles, McDonald, Warren, Lordstown, Levisburg. I haven't went to Newton Falls, though. I don't want to go to Newton Falls. I'm out of school now, but you, you can tell this is where the old warehouse used to be. I mean, shit. I had some good times here in Highland, man. Some good times. Shit, I hit my first, I hit my first cigarette here in Highland. Oh, actually, it's McDonald. Yeah, McDonald. I had memories when I was a kid, though, but I used to hang out with everybody. I got along with a lot of people that weren't stuck up. Yeah, but this is the old warehouse. Sorry, I keep saying that, but, you know, some people like to skip along, you know, in the video, not watch the whole thing. But, it's pretty nice. I mean, you can still bring your four-wheelers back here if you guys like that, or... Bikes or, you know, skateboards. Like, you skateboard off that. Do some wicked tricks, ollies or something. I mean, I'm not into the big skateboarder person. But, I learned tricks and stuff because I watch people. But, you know, mostly, I'm mostly a laid-back guy. I don't do much sports. So I just ride my bike, trying to get a car, my license and that. Yeah, I'm, yeah the other day was my birthday. August 2nd, which was great. Uh, it was an okay birthday. But, you know, if you guys want to hear about that, you know, I ain't going to go all into that, but if you want to hear about it, message me or just tell me to post a video about it, and I'll tell you about how our birthday was, but it's all right. It was all right. But, yeah, we're going to co continue walking back. Uh, but this is the... I'm trying to think because I don't remember seeing this building here. I mean, I, don't, I remember seeing, I remember it being here, but I don't remember it being so open. They must have just, like, opened it, like, you can tell they opened up the drains and stuff. Uh, that kind of looks a little nasty, but it's the old drains. This one used to be, I remember back in the day, this used to be covered with a piece of wood. Because it's all stocked up, there's really no water in there at all. Uh, yeah, bet you guys have some good memories back here too. I mean, if you guys don't want to come back here, it's right across the street for a quick, uh, quick stop. Quick stop's been there for since I was little. Actually, before that, it was something else. But yeah, it's right across from Quick Stop and uh, Howland Central. All you do is it's like a banded road. All you do is go straight back. You bring your trucks. Um, just watch, cause. How police are dicks, so you might want to watch what you do, you know. I mean, I wouldn't come back here at like 3 o'clock in the morning and doing it, but 
more power to you if you want to. But yeah, this is where the old place used to be. I mean, there's still people come back here, as you can tell in, my, in the first video, which is going to be part two of that video. But yeah, this is the old place. I mean, I'm sorry they're so long, but it's just so long of a lot walk to show you all this. And I know my jaw's hurting from talking so much because I usually don't talk this much. But, yeah. I mean, this, this has been here for years. I remember this. This is just a little dip they filled in. There was used to be like a, a little bit of a, kind of like a pond. But they filled it in with rocks and then weeds grew up. Yeah, this is the way you, I'll show you the way that you actually, they actually used to have the way, this used to be the main way to go into the, to the, um, warehouse. They sent built them and stuff, but you'd have to come down this way, turn this way. But you know what's funny? That's an actual, um, kindergarten. And they said that burnt, half that burnt when that burnt. But if you could tell, that's like 50, maybe 60 yards away. 70 maybe. I don't know, 100 maybe. I don't know. But I don't know how they say that that that, that halfway that burnt. But you know, stupid police. You know, police are stupid. But they do do some good at times. But then other times they're assholes. If you're not doing anything. Like, they're probably going to get on me because I'm walking through here, but who gives a shit? If you know, that used to be the old Best Buy. Now it's called Dollar Mart. I actually put a place in there. That guy's still four-wheeling back there. He's having fun, but it's not as good as it used to be. But anyway, that was Howland Dips and the old warehouse. And the kind of story that I kind of got in trouble for, but mostly my brother, though got in trouble for at the thing but you know how police are dicks if you know if you ever lived in Howland they are dicks they are nice at times too because I've known a couple of them I grew up with a couple of their sons but yeah see that's Howland, Howland it's called North Road Central Center sorry my I'm not good at pronouncing words and stuff but yeah I drive through has been there for years, though. But anyway, if you like my videos, you know, you like this video, you like my first one, make sure you watch my first one, though, because it'll tell more about the dips, because this one only tells about the warehouse. But if you like my videos, subscribe to me. Hit me up, message me. I'm always looking for new subscribers. I really don't got that many, but... um. If you subscribe to me, most likely I will subscribe to you if you have good videos. Because I'm watching everybody's videos. I like to watch videos on my downtime. There ain't nothing really to do. But yeah, I'm going to be making more videos too. Because my buddy's supposed to be moving in with me. So I'll be making a lot more videos with like us doing stupid crap. I mean, he's a juggalo. So it'll be all good if you're a juggalo. You know, whoop whoop to you. Much clown love. But if you're not, it's all good, you know. Just like my stuff. I mean, you don't have to if you don't like it, but... I mean, now I'm going to start walking back, and I ain't going to film the whole way walking back because it take too long. I mean, I'm already running on 13 minutes. So, I guess... I guess this is it. Alright. Whoop, whoop. Deuces.